My favorite part of being a doctor is to uh, see um, the happiness that uh, patients get when you solve their problems or fix their problems. It's uh, very satisfying to uh, see somebody back in clinic, uh, let's say a month out after their surgery, or taking a tumor out, and uh, know that they went back to work uh, two weeks after they got back home, and uh, they're pretty much back to normal. So when uh, patients uh, are told that they have a tumor in the brain, obviously, it's a scary uh, proposition for them. And naturally, the first response is, oh my god, what's happening to me? Is this something that can be fixed? And is it something that's going to affect my life? Those are sort of the major questions that people have. Uh, and obviously, you know, they're scared. But uh, what I want them to also understand is that in uh, t uh, this day and age, we have uh, great uh, techniques and tools to uh, take care of patients who have brain tumors. The management of brain tumors is becoming um, more and more minimally invasive over time. So we're doing uh, much smaller approaches to tumors than we did, uh, let's say, 10 or 15 years ago. For instance, uh, we have uh, now laser treatment for uh, certain kinds of brain tumors that's available. This was not there 10 years ago. Another aspect is that uh, here at uh, Washington University in Siteman, we have an intraoperative MRI machine, which uh, uh, even uh, some of the top centers in the country still don't have one. Uh, that's another uh, modality that has changed. What that helps us with is to determine whether we've been able to take out as much of the tumor as we safely can. It helps patients avoid a second procedure or suboptimal uh, treatment. So those are two advances that came uh, in the last 10 to 15 years, for instance. In the future, what I see is uh, these uh, surgical procedures becoming less and less invasive. Another example is uh, for large skull-based tumors, we used to have complex approaches uh, where we made big incisions and big windows um, in the bone to get to the tumor. Now certain kinds of tumors can actually be taken out through the nose um, with an endoscope uh, and we're expanding the indications and range of what we can get through with the endoscope. Again, everything is becoming smaller in terms of the surgical incisions and approaches. So what that means for a patient is that there's faster uh, uh, healing and uh, faster recovery and uh, getting back to your normal life much sooner than you were able to a long time ago. I think it's very important for patients to uh, have support of their family, especially when you're dealing with complex diagnoses such as brain tumors. Uh, it's important to have the support of your family and uh, for them to be available and be with you at all times, which, whether it be for clinic appointments or after their surgery or when you go back home or whether you come back for follow-up treatment. Having family support is key uh, because uh, a lot of times um, you may not remember what we tell you because of all the things that are going on in your life at that time and the stresses. So it's always good to have somebody else uh, to watch out for you and help you in this process. An example that stands out in my mind uh, about how much we can make a difference to a patient's life is uh, somebody who came in after uh, they had bleeding into a tumor in their pituitary gland. This person uh, went to uh, sleep uh, with a, a normal vision and they woke up at four in the morning with a sudden uh, headache. When we uh, scanned them, we found that they had a tumor in the pituitary gland that had bled and uh, they had completely lost sight in uh, one eye and the other eye had reduced to tunnel vision to the point that they could not look at their phone and read it Anything. They could not uh, even go to the bathroom unassisted because of how bad their vision was. So we emergently took the patient to the operating room and uh, we were able to take the tumor out through the nose. And a uh, patient made uh, a great recovery, went home a couple of days later, about four to six weeks later when they saw the ophthalmologist, their vision was back to being perfect. It was like nothing had ever happened. So, uh, you know, patient obviously went back to work um, soon after that and they were uh, so relieved. You know, it uh, feels really good to be able to make such a dramatic difference to someone's life. Um, in such a short period of time. One of the uh, most rewarding parts for me in caring for patients is uh, to see their joy at the end um, once you uh, cure their problem. So let's say if somebody has a brain tumor that is operable and we uh, go in and take it out and they are surprised at how well they do the next day after surgery because that's not what they had anticipated about brain surgery and then they're able to go home a couple of days later and uh, their MRI scan shows that the disease is gone and now we just need to watch uh, with MRI scans the satisfaction that they have and the relief that they get in knowing that they can return to their normal lives, that's a very rewarding aspect of managing patients.